Hi everyone, I'm Miriam from the YouTube channel Variety Girl One, and today I'm going to show you how to add text to your video. So we'll open Adobe Premiere Pro and go to Title, New Title, and then you're going to hover over New Title, and you're going to click Default Still. And then you're going to give this a name, so we can just do Test for now. The name doesn't really matter, it's just what name is going to show up here. And you want to make sure you have the same uh, resolution as your video. And then what you see here behind the text is going to be whatever point in the video you're at. So if I move this over here, you're going to get a black screen just like you see there. It's going to be there. And if I move it back over here, you're going to see that. So it's just wherever in the video you are. So if I move it again there, you see it changed again. So let's just put it here for now and we'll start editing the text. So you want to make sure you're on the text, um, the type tool. And you're going to just click and drag to make a text box. And then actually let's go so it's a blank screen right now. And then you can just type away. Uh, let's type some actual words. <laughs> so testing the text. Okay. So if you want to change the font, you just highlight it and you can go up here and there's a lot of fonts to choose from. Let's just go with, go with this for now. Oh, I put the wrong letter. Okay. If you want to make it bigger, you can highlight it and then either type the number in or you can scroll. And then if you want to center it, you can do that or you can make it left or right justified. You can't, however, have the next line start on the left. You would have to make another text box if you want one centered and one on the left. So down here, we have some like templates, I guess you could call it, that if you click this, well, let's highlight our text first, it would change to whatever is down here. If you don't like any of the ones down here, we can make our own just by choosing our text and then you can make it bold or regular sometimes it will also let you italicize but not for every font and then we can edit it in the title properties as well so we have the size again over here leading is uh, actually let's do enter here so to show you leading you need two rows and then you see how it spaces out the rows. It's kind of like when you're double spacing or single spacing. That's basically what leading is doing. It's changing how far apart each line is. Then we have kerning. Maybe kerning doesn't work for this font. Let's go to let's try Arial. Okay. And then kerning is going to change how far apart the letters are. So you can make them farther or closer apart. Tracking is going to do something similar, except it's going to go out from the center. And you can just play around with these. Each one is going to do a different thing. Oh, there's an underline feature. I never knew that, actually. Okay, I just found that. So you just really have to play around with it. And then here is the fill. So that's the color inside the letter. You can make it a gradient, and then you would have to pick two colors. Uh, you can do all kinds of different designs and then if we go to color you can either click that or that and the dropper is going to let you choose a color from something surrounding so say I wanted to match the color with something else in my video or you can click this and then you have a swatch of colors and then you also have opacity so that's how solid or transparent it is and then you can have an inner stroke or an outer stroke so that's like the outline color and let's see we can also minimize this if it's too much now we also have a shadow and the shadow might be easier to see if we go over here so let's move our text by the way if you go here and then you just can drag the text around so right now we have a shadow and you can change the color let's make it just a black shadow for now and then you can change the opacity of the shadow you can change what angle it comes at. You can change the size. So let's make it a little bigger and then I'll change the angle so you can see. And then we can also make a background for this. So say 
we didn't want to see this and you wanted to make a different background color you just click background and then you would choose a color Let's just do that for now and we have a background now so that's how you can make like a title window or credits that are a different color and just unselect this if you change your mind from the text box we can also insert shapes so if we wanted to draw a shape you can edit that like text or you can draw lines I've done arrows by combining a line and a triangle before you can rotate the shapes and I think you also have a pen tool I haven't used the pen tool before let's see yeah you have a pen tool as well it's the same as the pen tool in, in other Adobe apps and then you're just gonna X that and then you see it's over here in our project so then you're gonna drag your text above your video and it's just gonna appear there if you don't like that you can just click it and edit if you don't like how it looks you can always go back and make changes and so we can put it on top of any point in the video also like a video clip you can put it past other clips so that it's by itself like that or it can be on top of a video and that is how you add text to your video in Adobe Premiere Pro in the future I'm also going to do a video on adding rolling credits so subscribe to my YouTube channel so that so that video is in your subscription feed I make new videos every Monday Thank you for watching.